hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mimi and this is budget with me and in today's video we're gonna go ahead and do my december um fourth week paycheck this is my last paycheck for december so i'm gonna have um this final paycheck and then we are done with december guys this video is probably gonna come out a little late um because i am doing giveaways in some of my videos and i'm giving them a couple of days um, for people to enter into the giveaways before I'm posting the next video. So this video most likely will be coming out in January, but I am, I'm recording it in December. Um, I'm actually recording this on December the 27th. So I got paid yesterday. So for this income, we had two sources of income for this week. So I had my delivery income. If you guys don't know, I do grocery deliveries. I do like Uber Eats and stuff like that. I hardly ever do Uber Eats. It just depends. Um, but uh, I do do grocery delivery mainly. And then I also have an Etsy shop that is connected to my budgeting channel. I also do have a candle business with my mom. Um, we did go ahead and start that back up, but we gave this first round of candles the opportunity for our family and friends to purchase because, you know, those are some of our bigger supporters and they have been like waiting for us for the longest. So we wanted to be able to let them purchase what they wanted to purchase first. And then um, we just ordered some more wax because I used up all the wax that we had. I had like 50 pounds of wax and I used it all up and almost all of our candles are gone. Like almost all of them are gone. I'm so grateful to our family and friends. They are so wonderful. Um, but I ordered some more wax. I have another 50 pounds coming and then we're going to make some more candles. And then I'm officially going to be reopening my candle shop as well. So I have a few people that I have in mind that I know like candles and I want to go ahead and send them a candle to get their opinion on it. So I'll be on the lookout for that. I'll definitely be contacting them and letting them know so I can get their information and send it out. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just super excited to just open that business back up. I... Honestly, I'm just like, I'm an entrepreneur person. <laughs> like, And then I do have some other good news. I'm not going to share that good news just yet. Um, I am going to wait. That is something that I'll be sharing in the new year at some point. Um, but for right now, I'm not going to share. Um, but <laughs> you guys partially know what it is because I've talked about it before. Um, in, my, in one video, I think I've talked about it. And... Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see when I share it. If I share it, we shall see. <laughs> but anyways, guys, for this week, for my delivery income, now this is after I have already um, paid whatever bills or, you know, giving myself some spending money just because, you know, I do eat snacks and things like that on the way of while I'm working. So this is after all of that. This is after I pay any business expenses from Etsy or anything like that. So that's what we have here. So I'm going to tally this up. So we have 334.36 for my delivery income and 160.63. So it's a total of $494.99. I'm just going to do $495. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> because I'm probably going to go to the ATM versus waiting for the teller to open. And the ATM, my ATM does not give one. So I would have to round up to the nearest five anyways. So yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And then scoot this up some. Let's go through my wallet and see what we have here. So pretty much my wallet is empty. It is very much so empty. So I have nothing in here. I don't stuff, I stuff these a different way anyways. But I do have some money back here. These are from some cash tips. I don't really get a lot of cash tips. Most people tip me on the app and I get it that way. So, but I did have a few people give me a cash tip. So for my cash chips, I have five, six, seven, eight. So I think one person gave me five and then the other person gave me these two ones or something like that. I don't remember. I know I used some of it though because <laughs> I bought like some snacks while I was working. So we have $8 there. I'm probably just going to keep this in my wallet to be honest. I'm going to put this in eating out. Just because most of my cash chips, I use it for snacks. So yeah, let's put that in there. And then I do have some receipts back here from some of the shopping that I've been doing. So I'm going to take these receipts out and I will scan these into Fetch Rewards um, once I am done with this video. If you guys are not aware of what Fetch Rewards is, it is an app. Oh, wait, why am I closing this? It is an app that rewards you for the purchases that you make throughout the month. So it gives 
um you some points back every time you scan a receipt if you use my code down below i'm not sure exactly how much bonus points they're giving once you scan your first receipt but it usually gives a decent amount of points so you guys may want to look into that if you've never used it before i currently just cashed out a 50 dollars gift card to amazon because i'm an amazon addict um <laughs> and um yeah, my Amazon delivery driver, my kid's dad, he was outside when he was dropping off the package because he heard him pulling up. And he was like, man, I've been to this house three times this week. And he was like, and you're probably going to be at this house three times again for next week because she's ordered more stuff. <laughs> so anyways, so I'm going to stuff gas and I'm also going to stuff um, eating out this week. For sure everything else gets stuffed a different way so for gas i'm giving myself 40 dollars and then for eating out i'm also going to give myself 40 dollars because i dipped into my buffer last time um while i was working so i definitely don't want to do that again so we're going to do that off the bat and then the next thing that i want to make sure that i budget for is my 52 week challenge this is my final cash stuffing for my 52 week challenge before I make my large debt payment. So week number 52, we did it. I stuck to it. It was very difficult to do in some months, but I was able to get it done. So I'm very happy with being able to do that. So let's take that off first. And I definitely want to attempt to show some love to all of my thinking funds um, this time around because I'm working with a good bit of extra money because I hustled and bustled this week. <laughs> so for birthdays, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 40, 39, 40. So 140. I'm going to do five for now. This is going to be a slow build because I'm not sure what we're doing for the twins' birthday just yet. We haven't discussed it. And I'm also not sure what my mom's doing or my little cousin. Day night, we're skipping fun. I'm going to do $10. Wait, did I subtract? I don't think I did. Okay, the twins, I'm going to start by stuffing them at the beginning of the year or sometime in the next year. They currently have over $4,000 in their account. And I think that that's good enough to say that they're only one. <laughs> so I've been able to save $2,000 for each one of them. I would like to save at least $1,000 a year um, per. So I would like to save um, another $2,000 next year. We'll see how close I get to that. Marco, I've been stuffing his envelope pretty aggressively because he is getting older. Um, and he has, um, he's been having like some eye issues. So his eyes were very red. They were very runny. Um, not red and runny. They were more red than, than, no, they were more runny than red. At some point I did see that they were red, but that might've been from me just trying to, clean his eyes out um, because I was looking online they were saying that you can use a warm towel to clean his eyes um and I didn't see any signs of infection he didn't have any discoloration in his mucus or anything like that it was just watering so I'm assuming that some type of pollen or something got in his eye and it was just irritating it a little bit so I went ahead and I um uh, did like a I flush on it and now he's fine so I'm glad that I didn't take him to the vet and waste money on that because at first I was going to <laughs> so beauty I already know what I'm going to put in beauty I need to put $40 in beauty because I'm paying myself back for a purchase that I made out of my buffer my emergency fund and my savings we are skipping for now for spending I just said that I want to go get hibachi probably while I'm working for lunch. And I know that that's about $20. So I have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. I currently have 23. No, 10, 15. No, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm not counting the exact same way. So I currently have $18 in here. I'm going to add 10 because I may or may not go get it. But I want to have it in there for just in case. Um, In my Roth envelope, I am putting $10. I put $10 all the time from my side hustle incomes. For this birthday's fund, I'm going to go ahead and just add five. Just because I want to keep building this for those just-in-case moments for unexpected birthdays. 
car maintenance. What do we have in here? We have 500, 20, 30, 40, 50. I think this is 560. So 560, I'm gonna do 20. Cause I need to double check how much the tires are gonna be with taxes. I think I just messed this up. Here we go. Clothing, I'm gonna add 10. It currently has 60 in it. Now debt, what do we have in here? Cause I know I added some extra. So we have $40 extra, but I'm gonna put 50 more dollars in here. Because I like to do $50 a paycheck for my regular paychecks. Not any like extra or anything like that. I like to do that for my regular paychecks. I like to put at least 50 every single time. So the extra 40 is just going to help out. So health, I'm going to do $5. I'm just adding to this little by little. Okay. Holidays has... 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to go ahead and add $5 in this. And I'm going to cap this at 100 once it, once it reaches $100. Because currently I don't have... Well, no, I probably should still stuff it. Because... um, I don't know. What other holidays? So we have New Year's that's coming up. We're not going to do... We're not going to do anything. One, their dad has to work. And two, my babies don't stay up that late anyways. They have a bedtime. <laughs> they usually are in bed by no later than 9.30. So they weren't going to be up at 12 o'clock anyways to watch the fireworks. So we're not going to do fireworks because he has to work um, that night. And then they're going to be asleep anyways. So we're not going to do fireworks. And then we have Valentine's Day. He's not too big on me buying some stuff for Valentine's Day. Um, and then we have like Easter, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know that we'll do anything for those times. So maybe I won't cap it at 100. I'll probably just keep stuffing it $5 at a time whenever I can. And if we use it, we use it. And if I don't, I'll just keep building on it because at some point I'm probably going to use this money. Um, Household, I'm going to put $20. I know it has $200. Um, my miscellaneous fund, I like to just put something in here. So I'm gonna put three dollars in it, but I can start giving me an even amount. So yeah, let's do three dollars. And then on to my business envelopes now. So for my business for essentials, I'm gonna add five. So minus five, 160. For giveaways, we're gonna skip. I have a decent amount in there. And then for supplies, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 120, I'm gonna add 30 to make that 150. And then taxes. Oh, I didn't calculate taxes. So I have 130 left. Let's see. So taxes, I only do my Etsy income and I do 15%. So it's 24, but I'm already at an even amount. So I'm going to do 25. So taxes, 25. And... Hmm. That's a lot to go into challenges. Let's see. My other challenges, I want to give them $60. So 52 plus 60 is 112. So we have 115 minus 112 and then i'm gonna start subtracting this again because i'm probably gonna go ahead and add to a few more envelopes so 
So I have $60 left. Okay. Is that right? I don't know why I just feel like that number is just so high. It could be right. Because I'm used to just like shorting my envelopes a lot. So let me just write this real quick. 263. It's E. 112 minus 195. $40. Okay. Because I was like, wait, I thought I had less than that. So I have $40 left. So you know what? Let's put in spending, let's put another $10. Yeah, let's put another $10 in spending. Let's put another 10 inside of essentials. So now that's 20. And let's do that. So now this should be right. Let's add this up one more time. 5, 20, 10, 50, 5, 5, 20, 50, and 25. So this should be 303. So 415 minus 303 is 112, and that's what I budgeted for challenges. So that is what we're going to stuff in here, and this bad boy is getting so thick and it's still able to close, even with all of this in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down my denominations for this. I'm probably just going to have to make some change inside of my... Um, out of my envelopes but i'm gonna go to the atm and pull out 495 dollars and then i will be back in my next video to do the actual cash stuffing for this so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye